the real key to it is just showing the work ethic that you're going to bring every day that no one else um, is ever going to match it and making whoever you get the opportunity to get it to showcase your talents too because sometimes you might get to work camp or you may you may get to spend a weekend with somebody um, to authentically try to show them that you're that talented but you're also going to be loyal um, so I think that that for me was always the balancing act uh, along the way when I was lucky enough to get promoted with coach was to show him above all else I was going to be loyal to him and try to learn everything that he wanted anybody to do and when I was on the ground level, it was just basically keep your mouth shut and do whatever we tell you to do and work really hard, whether that's drive him anywhere he needed to go, um, whether it was rebound for guys at 5.30 a.m., like Scotty Reynolds my first year. Uh, and it wasn't for coach to see it. It was because that's what I love to do. Mm -hmm. And then by doing that consistently and having your heart in the right place, usually guys like that get noticed. But when I first went to Virginia Tech, the one thing that I will always love Mike Young for is he asked me what my aspiration, like, Mike, if you take this, what is it that you want? And I said, well, to be honest with you, my dream job has always been, if I were going to come on this side, was to be the head coach of Old Dominion. And so part of his sale to me was, if you want that job, you know you're never going to get it from DeMatha. You have to come on this side. Um, and he promised to prepare me as much as he could in my time with him to be able to do that. And uh, I'm not the head coach at Old Dominion if he doesn't have that conversation with me. How about that? That's, that's what head coaches are supposed to do for their staff. You know, you develop not just your players, you develop, you know, your, your assistants. I look at every player development session just like a practice. I think that's the type of attention to detail that it needs to have, that there has to be a plan um, you know, I know there, you know, some people might disagree. I've never been a big fan of like, you know, duct taping a guy's eyes shut and, and dribbling three basketballs on a gravel road. Like, you know, it doesn't really apply to the game. So, you know, I try to be real intentional in how we build our player development system, uh, that they're, uh, take, making all the reads that we're going to be making out of our offense, that they're getting all the shots we'll be getting. Uh, but I think there's there's no substitute for you know the old game shots, game spots, game speed uh, saying and, and getting as many of those. We track every shot our players take, not from a busy work standpoint. I want to I want them to see the progress they're making. I want them to gain the confidence. Uh, from, yeah, man, I, I took you know, I got I was just showing one of our players. He he took thirty thousand threes uh, last off season, and shot 75% uh, on those. And he averaged three points a game as a freshman. Then that off season, he came in, he had side spin on a shot and we broke it all down. And, and I've, it, we charted every shot he took, 30,000 made threes in the off season at 75%. He shot 46% from three this year and averaged 10 a game in SEC play. Uh, and he deserves all the credit, he did all the work. But I think it's our job as coaches to provide the blueprint and be very detailed and intentional in, in how you go about those steps. And, and so, like, I would say to him all the time, that, so we're that don't let people define success. We're not going to let anyone define success for us. Like, I mean it. Like, I get it. Yeah, man, like, you want to win, and, and the job is to win championships. But one of the reasons I wanted to be at South Florida was when I when I sat and talked with Michael Kelly and um, Lee Butler, who's one of our senior administrators, our program administrator. I can remember Coach Kennedy saying this a long time ago. He talked about he didn't necessarily use the word alignment, but he talked about how it had to be right top to bottom from the president to the AD mm -hmm. on down. It had to be right. And so. I, I, you know, I answered questions, but I asked questions. So. Uh, if you want to write this down, it'd be good. Always have questions to ask the administrator, you know, as you're going through it. And one of my first questions, it's always my first question. What does success look like to you at said school? Right. And the thing that like my, I thought Michael Kelly's answer was, man, it was elite. I'll never forget getting off this Zoom. My wife is in the kitchen um, getting the kids lunch ready for school tomorrow. And I said, hey, you want to go to South Florida? 
And my wife knows me well enough to know, like, I don't get like overly excited, you know, for a lot of stuff. Like it's about people for me, you know, like it's not like we say it all the time. We, we don't make a lot of, we, we never made a move for money. Um, when I left Georgia, to become the head coach at Kennesaw State, I took a hundred thousand dollar pay cut. <laughs> All right, and we had two kids. We had a my baby girl at the time. She was, I think she was about eighteen months. And I never forget one of my friends I grew up with. He goes, "You're ignorant." <laughs> I said, "Huh?" He goes, "Why would you take that big of a?" I said, "And not." But my brother, again, I, I'm the mm-hmm. product of. I, I got great people around me, right? And my brother, he said to me, and I thought he. Four years later, I thought he was psychic, but he goes, man, Amir, you ready? It's time. You got to go bet on yourself. The money that you may leave on the table right now, you'll triple it in four years. I said, all right. I, I love my brother. I listen to him, right? Like to every, like people see him in Hush Sharif. He just, he just my brother, right? Like to me. And so it's crazy. Four years later. <laughs> It's like I called him. I called him when I was making a decision whether whether I was gonna stay at Kennesaw or leave. And I said, "Man, so." And he gave me the best. He said, hey, "Man, you got four faces in that house that depend on you, all right? And you about people. And you said you loved AD and you loved Lee, and they were about the right things. And they answered the question again, what the success looked like. And MK he said it. He goes, "Well, of course we want to win games. We want to win championships." But it's the small victories that get us to the big goal.